Okay, so let's now move on to creating a brand new post. And so if we just quickly take a look at the code that we have right here, uh, you can see that we have our schema. We're going to save that in our Pydantic model. And so we'll be able to access the properties from the body within this post object. So I'm going to clear this out and just delete all of that code for now. And for now, I'm just going to hard code some value. I'll just say created post. And so let's work on uh, inserting a new post into our database. So once again, we're going to uh, access the cursor object. So we're going to do cursor.execute. And then once again, we're going to use the three quotes. And we're going to use typical SQL. So to insert something into our database, we do insert. And then we say insert into. What table do we want to insert it into? We'll say the post table. Right. And then here we have to pass in the columns uh, of all the fields that we want to uh, enter in. So if we go look at our database, uh, they, we have to pass in a title and a content. And then everything else is optional. So we can also provide published as well. And then did the database creates the created that and the ID. So it's really just these three columns that we're going to uh, pass into here. And so it's going to be title, content, and then published. Yep. And then we have to pass in the values for those columns. And this is where things get interesting. You never want to do any kind of string interpolation and then pass in the values of post directly into this. Instead, what we want to do is uh, we're going to parameterize um, or sanitize all the data that we put into the SQL statement. So what you should do is do percent %s. Uh, and so this kind of represents a variable. And then we're going to do percent %s and then percent %s. Uh, and so this variable is going to be the value that gets passed in title. This variable, variable is going to be the one that gets passed into content. And this variable is the one that gets passed into the published column. And what we want to set these as, uh, we're going to actually use a second item that we pass into the execute command, uh, the execute method. And so here we pass in the actual values. So this first percent %s, what do we want that to be? That's going to be post.title. So we're grabbing the title from the body. Then we want to pass in post.content. And then we want to pass in post.published. All right, and this may seem a little confusing. And let me correct that. Um, because I'm sure a lot of you thought we could just do cursor.execute. And then here we pass in just an, a, uh, an F string. And then I can just copy all of this. And then pass in here. Oops. And the values we can just do, you know, post.title. And then, um, you know, post.content and so on. And this would technically work. However, this makes you vulnerable to SQL injection. So if the user for the title uh, decided to, you know, if we go to the create post and for the title, he decided to pass in some kind of weird SQL statement like uh, insert into blah, 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 right? He puts in SQL instead of a valid title. This is what is a SQL injection uh, attack. And he could potentially uh, manipulate data within our SQL database. That's why it's never good to do it, to pass that data in directly into here. Instead, all of these, um, you know, SQL libraries like, uh, uh, like our Postgres library here, uh, they actually can sanitize the inputs. So when we do this percent %s method and then pass it in as the uh, second field into the execute statement, it'll actually make sure that there's no you know weird SQL commands in there. And it's going to make sure that we're not vulnerable to SQL injection. So that's why we never do it like this. And we always do it like this. And just keep in mind, right, these are just variables or placeholders. And then the values we want to pass into that will be passed into um, these parentheses right here as the second parameter into the execute method. So post.title, since it's the first one in this list, is going to go to the first percent %s, and then post.content is going to go to the second uh, percent %s, and then post.published will go to the third percent %s. So the order matters. They match up with whichever percent %s comes first. So if I took um, you know, post.published right, and then moved it all the way to the front, well, now post.published would go to the first percent %s, post.title would go to the second one. That would cause issues because it doesn't line up with that. So that's why we want to make sure that the, the order really does, in fact, matter.
And just like we had before, uh, anytime we create something in our database, we want to return uh, the created result. So we can use the returning keyword. And we'll return everything. Uh, and so you're probably thinking, you know, we, we can just save new underscore post equals that. And then since we're returning it, it's going to get stored into that variable. And that's not exactly correct. Uh, instead, what we have to do is to get that returned value, we have to do a new underscore post. And then we do cursor dot fetch one. So that'll get whatever we return from here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say new underscore post is going to get returned to the user. Well, let's save that. And let's see what happens. So go to our create post and then I'm going to clear that out and just say, hey, hey, this is my new post. And let's hit send. So it looks like everything worked, right? 201 created. You can see it's got all of these values. Let's go back to our SQL database. I'm going to just do a quick uh, query. So I'll just say query tool. And I'll just say select star from posts. Let's run it. And if we take a look at the values, and the title should be, hey, this is my new post with an ID of three, you could see it's not in there. Uh, and so you might be wondering, well, uh, you know, the output of our, our API looks perfect. It sent it all back. Well, when you're working with uh, Postgres or any of these libraries, you have to actually do one last thing. You actually have to commit the changes. Uh, just like when it comes to working in our database, you know, if I create something here, pass in some data into the content, it's not saved in there. I actually have to finally save it. So to save that data, we have to reference, uh, instead of the cursor, we're going to reference the connection, and then we have to do a commit. So if we go down here, we just say con, which is my connection to my database, and just say commit. So that's actually going to push those changes out. So we'll save that. Now I'll try this again. All right, and so now we got, it looks like it has an ID of four. If I go to my Postgres database, I'm going to do another search. Sure, it's okay if it deletes it. Uh, and so now we can see ID of four, hey, this is my new post. So now it worked. So keep in mind, anytime you want to insert data uh, into your code, make sure you do a connection.commit to actually save it into the Postgres database, because these are all staged changes. So we're staging it, we can see the result of the stage, but we have to commit it to the database to actually finalize those changes.